Hey tricksters, let's get started on some awesome magic with this tutorial on how to make a magical magician girl's top hat. And don't worry, it's not too hard, I don't have any tricks up my sleeve but the helpful ones. So ladies and gents, let's get started. To get started, we're going to be needing the tools you have needed. Cardboard, packaging tape, scissors, two types of fabric, sewing pins, a really strong glue, and you will need an elastic band. And also optional is fabric scissors. Now to make this hat, I'm going to do the two circles, which is the top base, which is the top circle, and the bottom base, which is the rim around the bottom of the hat. My top base is going to be 4 inches wide, I'm making a half circle, and comparing it to my bottom base, which is around the same size, but just a little bit bigger. I do this just to keep my measurements in check. You can make them as big or small as you want, but this is how I keep things within my means. Once you've compared the measurements, I'm going to use the cutout from my semicircle top base and make the other half of the top base circle to complete it and tape it together. And if you guys haven't noticed, my top base is a little bit too fat for the bottom base. So I'm going to trim around the edges and then once you have that, keep comparing and then cut out the bottom base. And you'll be done with the circles. complete the top base and I have both bases finished I'm gonna try to see how tall I want it to be which I made it to four inches tall so that means your cardboard piece that you're gonna make for your the standing foundation is gonna be four inches wide if you want it four inches tall if you want it 12 inches wide make it 12 inches wide and tall so and now after I've figured out the width of it I'm going to slowly but surely curl it the paper, which is the cardboard, toward me so it looks more curved and not so flat surfaced. Here is how it should look once you've curved it out and I just slowly but surely bent each little part individually in the cardboard piece to make it more rounded shape so it's more curved like an old, like a banana. So once you have that, I compare my top base and my bottom base and make sure it lines up perfectly. If you need to snip a little bit off, snip a little bit off the top or the side just to get it perfectly straight. Once the measurements and the sizing and the trimming are all completed, I would suggest you put everything in together for one last touch up look. You always want to make sure that all your measurements and the sizing before you glue it or tape it is all correct because you don't want to do this process all over again which becomes very very annoying. So once I have that all set up I'm going to tape and glue it together and I will show you how to add the fabric on so do not freak out okay. In order for you to tape everything together, first take your bottom base and tape it to the standing foundation. Do not tape the top base, only the other two parts, which is the bottom and the standing foundation. Once that is done, you can take a long rectangular piece of white fabric and glue it all around the bottom base to make a more first layer of fabric to make the hat softer and sturdier. 
Once you did your first layer of fabric with your rubber cement or whatever glue you used with the tape, you can add as two layers or as many layers as you want of fabric to make it more thick. Now that we've finished the basic of the fabric coverings, you're going to slip in your top base for the top of the hat and use leftover material that is on your standing foundation of the hat and cover it over the edges of the top base. And we're going to tack that down with some sewing pins. Just watch the video if you're very confused. After we've already glued everything, take the sewing text out and then make a circle that's about two and a half or either one and a half inches wide. One and a half inches wide. I used the bottom of my rubber cement container as a base. And once I have that cut out on the fabric, I'm going to glue it on top of my top hat. And then once you have that, you can actually glue your elastic band to the bottom of your hat. To securing your elastic band to make it look like a loop headband, all I did was just double knot the ends of the elastic band and made it tight by stretching it while it was... That is it for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll be here with more DIYs. And don't forget to spread peace, love, and happiness. And it's only up to you to make every day beautiful. I'll see you guys later. Bye!